Hi everybody, I'm Jim Shore. We're in the kitchen today. <clears throat> it's right before Thanksgiving and I'm going to show you how to make the simplest and tastiest pie that you ever had. <clears throat> now, this is what it's going to look like. And in just a, just a few minutes, I'm going to show you everything you need to do or everything you need to put together to make this pie and exactly how to do it. Uh, it's fast. It's simple. That's what I like about it. It's not something that because you're gonna be you're gonna be uh, preoccupied with uh, everything else. You can do this thing in a matter of minutes, and it's it's one of the tastiest things ever. Uh, at Shore House here, we love it, and uh, I think you will too. So I'll be back in just just a minute. I'll show you everything you need to know to make this pie. Okay. Now I just showed you the pie that uh, I promise you is the simplest thing and. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, you start out, and I'll show you what to get. These are uh, packaged graham cracker uh, crusts that uh, you can make your own, but doing it this way is, well, it's, well, it's easy as pie. So uh, pick up a couple of those. This is uh, condensed milk. Any brand will do as long as it's uh, sweetened condensed milk. It's like the Eagle milk or... or uh, it's carnation makes some, it, it, you know, you, what do you ever get? I got this, so this is the, uh, I think this is a Walmart, but no, this is, uh, um, well, it's anyway, from one of our supermarkets. You get, it's readily available, and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I've got four cans of it. I'm going to use approximately two cans per pie. I think that's right. If, if memory serves me, it may be just one. We'll see, but I'm going to, I'm going to process four of them. And then you need some Cool Whip and some bananas. That's it. And uh, I'll, I'll run through this, and this is, I'll just give you a, a sort of a step-by-step -step of how you do this, and then we'll actually do it. Take the pie crust. You take a banana or several bananas, and you uh, you cut them up. Whoops. You cut them up into uh, you know slices. Get all the stringy stuff off it. String your stuff up because it's a little bit better. Okay, and just cut cut them into slices like so. And what we're going to do is we'll take these and we'll we'll cover the bottom of the of uh, the pie crust with a, la a couple of layers of bananas. Now, you want the bananas to be about. Uh, three quarters of an inch thick. I've cut these about uh, three eighths of an inch thick, so it'd be basically two layers of bananas uh, in this, and, and you know, put them around the edge and everything. And uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to boil. We're going to put these cans, strip the labels off, and like I've done with those, because you don't want to boil the labels, because they're paper. And uh, you put these, these cans directly into boiling water and you boil it for about three hours. So I'm going to put them in and we'll be back in, in about three hours or so and we'll, we'll do the rest of the, uh, the process. What we'll do once we get these out, now what's going to happen, when you boil this stuff for, for about three hours it caramelizes and it is the most delicious thing you ever put in your mouth and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to take that caramelized, uh, you know, milk, and we got the we got the pie crust, we got the layer of bananas, and we're going to spread this all around in that, fill it up. That's our that's basically our filling, and then we're going to coat the top of it with a, a layer of uh, Cool Whip. We're going to put it in a refrigerator. When we bring it out, let me tell you something: your family will go nuts for this. But the reason I like this is because, you know. Uh, as I said, you know, Thanksgiving's right around the corner. This is so simple. It doesn't, you, you, you're going to have enough on your hands making your green bean casserole and your sweet potato stuff and, and uh, your turkey and, and all that kind of thing. So that's, that's time consuming. And that, you can just do this in between. You know, get your stuff boiling back here, time it for about three hours, and uh, get these things set out. And as you're doing something else, you just cut up some bananas and check your, your uh, milk. And after three hours, pour it in, put the topping on, put it in the fridge, it's done. 
And when you pull it out, everybody that tastes this will absolutely love it, and they'll love you for doing it for them. So that's the, uh, that's the drill. Now I'm going to put this in the, in the boiling water, and be careful. I've got the water back here boiling already. Got it in a big pot so there'll be a lot of water there, and it'll, so it'll, it'll boil real, uh, real evenly because you don't want the water to boil, boil down. I've got one of these things. It makes it pretty convenient, but you keep, want to check and make sure your water doesn't boil out because you want these things to be completely submerged. So very carefully, drop that in there. I'll drop these two in too. Just like that. Just like that. I put them on their side so you don't have you don't have the whole surface of the bottom doing and and in three hours, three hours, we'll pull these things out of here and the caramel that comes out, I guess it's caramel, I don't know. It's, uh, it looks like caramel, tastes like caramel, uh, but it's, uh, it's, it, it's what happens to this condensed milk after you, after you boil it for a while. We'll take, do the rest of the thing. I'll show you what, uh, what the final product is. Or, I, mean, I showed you what the final thing is already. When we put it in the refrigerator, that's the last step. Pull it out, and you'll be a hero. So we'll be back in just a little bit with, in a, when these things are ready. And, and I'll show you the whole process, and we'll do it together, and it'll be great. You'll love it. See you then. Okay, I'm back now. Now, we've been letting this uh, condensed milk uh, boil for about about three hours. And I've opened one of them up because they're still a bit warm, and I opened them off camera so that just in case they explode or something. <laughs> but everything was great. And as you can see, it's turned into this really lovely... Uh, caramel stuff and it is so darn delicious. Now here, here's what you do. I, as you can see, I have cut up the bananas, placed them in carefully and neatly into the uh, the shells. You want to get about oh you know it's all told it's about three quarters of an inch thick of bananas. I've got two and a half bananas in in each one of these, so I I cut up five bananas for the two uh, pies. You can. Uh, you can adjust that uh, accordingly. So what we'll do now is we will urge this to come out like so. I've got four cans here and uh, it's probably more than I need, but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, see how this one can does. And these are, I think, well, I guess it's just a standard can, but I think it's about it's about eight fluid ounces, something like that. We'll see. Okay, we get it all out. Spread it around, which is a little bit easier said than done. Yeah, I'll put another half a can in here. I'm gonna just cover everything. Okay. One can. Okay. That one didn't explode. <laughs> okay. Now, <clears throat> put this one in here and I'll, I'll open up a third can and, uh, and add it to this so that we'll get really good, um, you know, coverage. Sort of hurrying through this, you can take your time doing it. But it's one of these things that's just, uh, you know, it's quick, easy, simple, and you can, it's it's something that you can do in sort of in parts in between the rest of your cooking, even on the busiest, uh, even on the busiest days. Okay, let me get one more can. Just want to make sure that everything gets covered and it sort of will sink down into the into the bananas. Okay, that's not good enough for that one. And then let's do it over here. That's about even. Okay. 
Alright, now. Once again, just keep messing with it until it gets, uh, until everything gets covered. Okay, that's basically what it ought to look like when you get all the bananas covered with this stuff. Now, I want to tell you, this stuff is good. Okay, now, top it off, I'm going to use Cool Whip. Now, full warning, I don't know how this is going to go, but uh, hopefully it'll go in there pretty smooth. I said earlier I'm sort of hurrying through this but you when you do yours you take your time and make it uh, nice and smooth and pretty okay that's enough for this one here you know, I'll just smooth it out a little bit then the next step is we'll put it in the fridge and let it uh, it'll kind of you know harden up a little bit and uh, that's all there is to it. You, uh, there's no cooking involved other than uh, boiling the, you know, the milk. And there we go. See, that's almost pretty. Give me just a second, and I'll, I'll do this one. You cooks out there that uh, do this stuff on a regular basis probably cringing at the way I'm doing it, but uh, I'll get it all on there. Okay, it's kind of sticky, but it's cool. That's why I caught that. <laughs> okay. I'm supposed to be talking because dead air is not good. <laughs> but, okay, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Now, once this, uh, once this cools for a, a while, and you only have to cool it for about an hour in the, uh, in the fridge, and it'll be ready to, ready to cut and eat. And actually, looking upon it, I think one can per pie probably would have been enough because it's kind of going over the edge a little bit, but that's fine. Okay. We are, I think, pretty enough. Okay, now I'm gonna go and put this in the fridge and I'll be back uh, in, a, in a couple of minutes, <laughs> but uh, it'll be a couple of hours, but, it'll, but we'll, we'll see in just a bit. And you'll see, we'll cut one open and uh, I'll let you see what it looks like when they're when they're finished, wiggle it around a little bit. Okay, so I'll be back in just a minute. Uh, I'll show you the, uh, you know, the finished product, and we'll be ready to roll. Okay, we've uh, we've done the process. We put it in the refrigerator. It's been in there for a few hours, and it is now ready to do what you're supposed to do with it, and that is enjoy it. So I'm going to cut a piece and show you what it looks like. The rest of it, we'll put this on the Thanksgiving table. Okay. Oops. Sure happy that came out like that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me give it a try. Mm. Let me 
tell you, that is so delicious. And it's so simple. It's just one of those things. It's perfect. And I want you to try it out. Make one of these things for your family. It'll be a, it'll be a, a regular part of your, uh, your Thanksgiving tradition. I guarantee it. That and a cup of coffee. What could be better? Okay. We'll be back with some more stuff later on. Till then, take care. I love you. Have a great Thanksgiving. And we'll, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.